Hello guys and welcome to the Bright Agent. Today I'm going to be teaching you about multipliers. But before I teach you about multipliers, just ensure that you like, comment and subscribe to my channel to sharpen your minds and make you more efficient. Now, multipliers are essentially the easier version of percentages. And doing that makes a little more sense makes you a little more efficient doing it and can save you some serious time if you don't really like doing percentages. But if you do like doing percentages and you don't like multipliers as much, then you can do this tip. Let's say for example you have 80% of 100 or 80% of 60. Well, that's essentially the same as 60% of 80. So if you like doing 60% more than 80%, a less amount will take less time to calculate. So doing 80% of 60 would be 48. And 60% of 80 would be also 48. So if you're ever stuck with a big number as that and a small number as the percentages, you could just change it around to get a quicker and faster result which is still literally the same and to add emphasis on it let's do 50% of 100 50% of 100 will be 50 but 100% which is the original amount of 50 will still be 50 so essentially it's just a quicker way if you know you have something that's a multiple of 100 then you can just change it to a percentage and the answer will be quicker and easier now, what multipliers are, are essentially percentages divided by 100. Let's say you have 120%. To get the multiplier, you just have to divide it by 100 to get 1.2. And if you're struggling with things less than 100, then say there's something like 43%. 43 divided by 100 will be 0.43. And... If it's going to be less than 100, then you know that the starting number will be 0. Because 100 divided by 100 is 1, and anything less will start with a 0. So, let's put multipliers into practice. Say there's 0, say 50% of 60. Rephrase this question and answer the question. So, 50% of 60 will essentially have two separate answers since x percent of y and y percent of x are the same thing. So 50% of 60 can be 60% of 50 as well but you can rephrase this to be what's a 0.5 times 60 also 0.6 times 50. I'm going to choose 0.5 times 60 because it's easier to do a half so half of 60 will be 30 so essentially basically there's two answers for the question but only one answer since the answers are both the same and they don't differ in any way so essentially that's how you do multipliers and that's how you master them so if you need help changing multipliers back into percentages just do the inverse of divided by 100 and multiply by a hundred and that's how you turn multipliers back into percentages so hopefully you've learned the tips and tricks of the multipliers and how to make percentages easier for you and ensure that you be bright and stay right be stay tuned for my next video